Good morning everyone and happy new year. This is my very first vlog of 2020. I thought that seeing as it's January and it's Veganuary, there are so many vegan fast food options available at the moment. We thought we'd do a taste test. Yeah, well, I didn't, I didn't think that. You <laughs> We're thought. standing right outside Domino's, but I don't think they have one. Our first off of the day is Greg's. We're going to try the vegan sausage roll, which actually isn't new. I just haven't tried it yet. And I think they also have a vegan steak bake that's maybe limited edition for this month. I don't really know. So we're going to like halve everything because I can't eat that much crap myself. <laughs> we're obviously going to space it out throughout the day and I might film this video over like two or three days depending on how full we get and how sick we feel. I'm going to feel really sick. this crap to be honest. But yeah, our first stop of the day is Greg's. So if you're not from the UK or if you don't know, Greg's is kind of like our most popular bakery. Look, it's the nation's favourite vegan sausage roll and the vegan steak bake. Let's do this. They also have vegan donuts, but luckily they're sold out because I don't like sweet things, so I don't want to taste test them. <laughs> so, vegan sausage roll, which was a pound, and the vegan steak bake, which was £1.55, and it has corn in it. Not the biggest fan of corn chicken pieces. This one's nice and warm. Let's try this one first. This one's actually quite cold. Yeah? Who's in the car? You're perched on our car. And there's a motorbike. This is just great. Hello, yeah, we're ready, ready, ready to do it at the same time. Yeah, well, that's what it looks like. A bit of pastry. A bit of sausage going on in there. <laughs> yeah, more. Okay, shh. Maybe I have to come close. Ready? Okay, well, we're Cheers. Ready. Cheers. sausages and I know a lot of people don't that could be why I don't really like pastry though I'm a really weird person I know people say it's just as much like really, really dry mm. it's perfect with some ketchup actually don't like mm, not bad I actually like it yeah after me mm. mm. how is it compared to the meat one in case you guys are new to my channel I'm a vegetarian but I'm mildly lactose intolerant if someone... The only dairy I really eat is cheese. Um, so I'm kind of like a semi-vegan. I'm not really vegan. I try and limit dairy as much as possible. As, as a meat eater, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm actually quite impressed with it. I mean, if you gave me a sausage roll and didn't tell me it's veg, vegan, I would think it's real meat in there. Really? It just, yeah, it tastes, to me, it does like, taste like real sausage. Look, my hair keeps falling out into my sausage roll, but it's mine, which is fine. But it's someone else's. Oh, that's awful. Mmm, not I'm... bad. For a pound, I'd get this again. I probably would choose. I would probably choose this over the real one. I'd ask for ketchup though. Hmm. So I took all the pastry off mine. Just ate the sausage. So good. But most people like pastry. I'm just weird. Mm. It is. Do you like the one? <laughs> it's huge. Should we halve it? Yeah, it's actually quite soft. It feels soft. Mmm. Which is. I suppose we. I'm funny about corn. I don't like their chicken pieces. I like their mints and their sausages, but not all of their products. Oh, do we? That does not look appetising, I'm afraid. But it looks like it does look like a real. Anyway, you have to come right up close with me. It does look like a real. Um... It just. It looks very like school dinnery <laughs> inside. Brown is just not a shade. I don't know. Okay. There's a lot of pastry though, look on the oh side. God, you're like digging your finger right in. Well, a, lot of, a lot of pastry, as in like, it's like, it's a lot of emptiness there, so it's not the most filled thing. That's fine. I don't know. No way, you have to try it with me. Oh. <laughs> you're just taking a big chunk, like a big bite? No, only of the I just take this pastry. I just find pastry, like, really like, what's the point, you know? Okay, I'm going to give it a go. Pop or go. Okay, ready? Right, go ahead. You have to come over your face. I just it. What, what bend down. Okay, ready? Bend down, bend right down. All right. Ready? Go. Bit cold. Maybe because we had in the car for ages. No, it was cold anyway. How was it? Mm. Is it meant to be cold? No, but. Huh. I don't know. Mm. Um. Not dry because it's like a sauce, it's gravy. Something about it. It said corn pieces with an onion gravy description. 
cut out. It's bland, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I mean. It's not, there's no taste on it, is it? I mean, it's not disgusting, but it's not good either, if that makes sense. I wouldn't say it fuses itself. I wouldn't say it's wow, it tastes nice. It's just a paste. Just a bland. Oh, it's sausage roll. Yeah, but sausage roll is much better than this one. This to me is literally like bisto gravy with just bits of corn chucked in it. Mm. No other seasoning. Yeah, I'm not mm -mm. impressed with this one. Mm -mm. It's a thumbs down for me. Mm. But if you're hungry, obviously you'll probably eat it. I'm not even that hungry. This is kind of vile, to be honest. Oh, God. I'm eating pastry. Well, how do you, like, be clean when eating pastry? What were they thinking when they made this you're one? Not even on camera. No, no, what were they thinking when they made this one? Because it's not just taste of nothing. Does it taste like steak? Nah, I don't know. No, it doesn't. Mm. Nah. Thumbs down for me, I'm not going to eat this one. Okay, we're going to have like a two, three hour break and then move on to our next stop. Right, we're at KFC and we're going to go uh, for... Hello, yeah, I'm asking about the, the vegan burger. Vegan burger as a meal or itself? Yeah, uh, as a meal, but what, what comes with the meal? Meal is with fries and drink. Fries and drink? What fries do you what what fries do you get with it? What kind of potato fries? Yeah, potato fries. Okay. Are your fries vegan? Are you oh no, not you. Okay. Are, are your fries vegan? Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Can we get um the one meal, please? Meal. Yeah. Can I have Coke Zero without ice, please? Anything else? That's it. Thanks. Can I actually? Can I just check your fries for, uh, actually vegan? Because I've heard that they're not vegan. Yeah, they are. They are, they are. So are they not fried in the same? Okay. Yeah, because I don't think they're fried. They're fried in the same oil as meat. She's double checking because she knows she's being recorded. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not actually filming her, but. What were the? It's just the um, the fries and pasta. It doesn't. Oh, they're not vegan, no. Just want the burger and drink there. Uh, yes, please. That's right. Just the burger and the soup. Yeah, that's right. Because otherwise. Otherwise you're paying for a meal without the fries. No, no, it's just supposed to be extra for the drink. Was it? Landing. No, don't need the drink, so we've got No, it should be fine. Just, just the burger. burger yeah. yeah. No um, can I get a sweet corn? Can I have a sweet corn as well, please? So that was a really interesting trip to KFC because she was like so close to selling me fries and I know they're not vegan. I have heard that they fry their fries in the same oil as the meat, which obviously is a problem if you're vegan. I'm vegetarian, right? Well, there's a oh. fine line, like some veggies we don't care. Like I am, I'm a vegetarian and I'm, I'm of the opinion that it's a fine line, isn't it? I feel that at that temperature that you're frying stuff, it kills off whatever is in there. And also you don't know what they're doing in restaurants when you go yeah. and eat, so. Well, but you know, like obviously if you're a strict vegetarian, then yes, that is a problem and it shouldn't really be done. But then it makes me think, what are they frying their vegan burger in and why can't they fry the fries in the same oil? It's very weird. I'm a bit funny about this whole KFC vegan burger because I also am not that keen on supporting a company that just kills that many chickens as their entire business model. Yeah. At least with McDonald's, they've always had a veggie burger and like whatever, but KFC is literally just about killing chickens. And so I don't know if it would really appeal to most vegans to have a vegan well, option. As a, as a non-vegan, well, I'm not really vegan myself, but I thought veganism is all about not you're not promoting you shouldn't be promoting shops or restaurants or yeah that because that, that, you're, you're helping to survive right you're helping kfc you're, kill more yeah and you're, you're not even indirectly in the what i'm trying to say because even, like, like. even though i'm getting a vegan burger here it's still you're still helping kfc the nanya isn't like you're still promoting them yeah and so there's a fine line i thought i'd just try it um i've just read that it's a corn burger that's basically coated in their original recipe 11 herbs and spices blah 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 coating these with the chicken so you'll be able to tell me if it tastes more realistic um, when was the last time you had you don't eat kfc when was the last time you had kfc it's been a long time so i, I can't remember what the actual chicken burgers taste like anyway i think it's the chicken no, that's chicken royal was burger, wasn't it? I can't even remember what uh, KFC. A bucket. No, wait, no, it's actually royal chicken. Yeah, they don't do burgers, do they? Do they? I don't know. Anyway, right. So. I normally have this I chicken. Think this I call is... the KFC chicken. That's the only thing I used to have from it. So. Oh, it's cold. Okay, we're in a little random car park because when we went through the KFC drive-through, we couldn't drive back into the car park because somebody had just driven into somebody else and it was all like on the wrong side of the road. So we parked up in like 
I don't know where. Anyway, so the vegan burger on its own is $3.99, which I think is quite expensive. And because you can't get the fries with it, with a drink, it's an extra 40p. So it's for $3.99. $3.99 for a blooming vegan burger. I mean, like. Well, I emphasize the vegan. Anyway, Dude, whatever. That's what I'm trying to be She's not a meat eater. They're, gonna, they're got... gonna say, why pay more for something that's not me? I mean, you're trying to imitate me. What's. I mean. No, to, but it's good for people that, like, have. They're the only vegan in their friendship circle and they just want fast food. It's good to have an option. Anyway, whatever. Um, mm. They got confused with our order and she gave us a drink that she didn't charge us for it, which is very strange, but. I'm not going to complain, it's KFC, they're not losing money by giving me a drink. And I also got a corn on the cob because that's not my favourite thing ever at KFC, that their corn on the cobs are the best. I don't know if they're vegan because they probably have butter on them already, so that's a bit of a fail. Butter on what? Corn on the cob, does it? I can't remember. But let's do the taste test because it's a bit cold. We got ketchup this time, just in case we need it. So, 11 herbs and spices, zero chicken. I like the sound of that. I love that there are vegan options in life. Like, I always pick vegan options, it's great. But this is what the burger looks like. It smells nice. It's a normal, like, burger Oh, bun. that's it, it reminds me of one of the, it looks like one of those, uh, There's... It's a bit dry, isn't it? <laughs> dry air. Oh yeah, because it's got nothing there, is it? Like, no mayo This because... is the... Oh, oh my God. Got some mayo. Like, talk about being super tight <laughs> the mayo and the lettuce is like that does not sound i have heard to people me. complaining about this whole mayo sitch but can, can you show the camera one more we paid four quid for this <laughs> four quid for a tiny bit of lettuce four quid for let me try and do it this way that's a rip-off that's daylight robbery trust me that's basically the burger that is dumb I'm, i mean i'm not impressed with that that price is stupid places. That's not, they, are they actually trying to convert people? The box, right? That's not going to put anyone, uh, a non-meat eater, uh, sorry, a meat eater is not going to get converted because of this, trust me. Right. It's, it looks dry. Say that. Okay, I'm going to try it anyway. I'm so it's cold. It's nice and warm though, because I only just bought it, but. Oh, that's okay, this is the burger. I mean, seriously. Just, oh, just you're getting lettuce all down my Yeah, the, the, only le the only bit of lettuce that I had in the main burger is gone. <laughs> okay. This is what it looks like. Can you guys see? Is that quite chicken-esque, would you yes, say? Yes, it does look chicken-y, the okay. texture. But let's just see if it's got the oh. chicken taste. Vegan mayo's nice, right? Okay, let's go for it. Huh? Oh, no, no, ready, ready, ready. <laughs> Why can we never do it the same time? Because I'm hungry. Mm. I need to have another bite for this one. Mayo's not very nice. Mm. I wouldn't choose this over chicken. Chicken burger. Hmm. I mean, is it, I don't know what it's trying to do. It doesn't taste too much. That's what I mean, it's just, it just got nothing there. I'm not sure if it's because the burger's bland or it hasn't got enough actually in the, you know, between the... Think about it, there's no mayo. A couple of lettuce. I've got a bit of mayo. Yeah, what's that going to do? What they, they, what are they so tight for anyway? Hey, seriously, that is not going to... Is that anything special? Well, put it this way, it's a fail because it's not gonna, I'm not going to buy another one like this. I wouldn't. It's not something I'll remember on my deathbed. The whole point was, if it's nice, and I'll say, wow, I really like it, then I'll definitely buy it again. Are these guys just jumping on the bandwagon? Mm. Just for, mm. they want people, like the vegan people, to sort of say, let's just try it and... That's it. The one more sales in January or something. It's nice. Mm. Mm. I'm more concerned about is this a healthy option? It might be a silly question, but is this healthier? Vegan doesn't always mean healthy. So what am I getting out of this? Other than losing You're four not pounds. Animals. Okay, well now that. I'm not much of a burger person, I will admit, but I'm having this with an open mind. I just think, do you know what it is? I think people need to stop using corn. Corn is like the downfall of all this, all of this stuff. Because I'm gonna insert a clip here, right? And yesterday, Justin and I went for lunch at this market hall place in Victoria. And there's, oh, I'll write it on screen so I can't remember their name. There's like loads of little food stalls everywhere and they've got this one vegan place. They, I asked her if it was corn, because I wasn't sure whether to order the tofu or the, 
vegan chicken uh, because it was corn I wasn't gonna do it and she said no it's soya and oh my god was that not the best teriyaki chicken bites you've ever had for vegan oh, ones because oh, yeah. it was just like chicken but yeah. it just tasted so good people just need to stop using corn corn is like the downfall this is okay I'll eat it it's not as bad as that steak bake but it's I would never get it again it's not worth it just a lot of, I've only eaten this because I'm hungry that's it I did not like it this was also as bland as the other one Mm. There's no, there's no taste in it. The whole thing. Like, I don't like tomatoes. At least put a tomato in your sodding burger or an onion mm. or a gherkin. There was literally, seriously, just that burger thing, bit of lettuce and a little bit of no. There's nothing else. Mm. And it's dry. Mm. Um, dry AF. I'm obsessed with their corn on the cob. Like I said, I don't know if they actually put butter on it, so I don't know if it's vegan. It's like the softest corn on the cob. I think you should be able to taste it if it has got butter in it, right? Mm, yeah, yeah, that's true. Look at the steam coming off it. <laughs> Good? Mm. I don't think there is butter in this. I think. I don't think there is. Really? Alright. Mmm. Want to try some? No more, try it. Eat it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mate, this is better than the burger. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> She's good. Did you guys see that? It's like yes. a to a pillow. Jesus. Okay, it's been a couple of hours since we've eaten. We did a food shop. We, I got my eyebrows done, and it's where they make look a little bit red. And now we're off to Costa. Also, I just found this in the works. I've been meaning to buy this for the longest time, and it was cheaper than it was on Amazon, so I'm very happy with that. I love like quick and easy, like one pan dinners. But anyway, I'm at Costa now, so let's go check out their ham and cheese toasty. Here we go. Vegan smoky ham and cheese. I'll let's get one of these. They also do this. All day breakfast panini. We also do this. We're now sat in Costa and the smoky ham and cheese, cheese um, toasty yep. was three pound and five. I always say takeaway as like a default thing because I used to work in Cafe Nero years ago as a student and they told us that even if a customer pays the takeaway price you can't kick them out because you still bought it from your establishment. But I actually think Costa charge the same price to eat in or take away. I don't know, I never come here. You come so, yeah. yeah, I think they used to, I think it's changed, it's the same now. But whatever, um, this is what it is. We're gonna do a taste test. And actually this says it uses corn, but corn ham is one that I like. This is a smoky ham, I'm not a fan of smoky and barbecue flavors. So let's see, I have my hopes for this one though. Oh, talk about just chucking it in a bag like a dog's dinner. <laughs> I mean, what happened? Oh, look at this. The cheese actually melts. People always say that vegan cheese doesn't melt, which is why they don't really like it. This one does. Ah. That's why it's piping hot. That's being what, yeah. Okay, that was really hot. Don't try this at home, kids. That's the cheese. It just looks like regular cheese. Smells nice. Mm. So, the ham is definitely smoky. The cheese isn't half bad. I've always said though that vegan cheese, when it's cooked and hot, it's actually fine. I've had loads of vegan pizzas in New York, like years ago. You can't really tell that the cheese is vegan. But go on, you do yours now. Right. Okay, so here's mine. It actually looks like, yeah, I'm normal cheese from here. It actually looks like a real ham from here as well. Oh, it does, doesn't it? It's quite thin. Oh, let me try it. I taste the cheese, but it's tasting in half. I mean, let me try it. It's quite hard. I like it. How yeah, does it compare to an actual ham and cheese toasty? I think you can taste the ham a bit more on the other one. So mm. a real ham probably a bit more salty, right? It's okay, I can taste the cheese more here. Yeah, it tastes like cheese, I've got to admit. It does, doesn't it? I mean, the, real, the cheese does taste like real cheese. I think I would I get taste, this again. But I can't taste much of the ham. Let me, I may need to have another bite of it. Mm. 
It's nice. Hmm. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of what I make at home, like with the corn ham. I just use like dairy, like cheese. Um, I think I'd buy this again. Mm. Mm. I'm not a fan of smoky flavours, but this isn't too overpowering. It kind of works. Mm. Mm. This barbecue sauce that I absolutely hate for the passion. Mm. This is good. Mm. And we're at McDonald's now. Let's see what vegan offerings they have. Drive through, yeah, Jess? Yep. Yes. It's too cold to get out of the car. Hi, can I take Hello, just wondering what um, vegan meals do you do? Vegan, we do vegetarian burger and a vegetarian wrap and then a vegetarian sticks. Vegetarian burger or a vegetarian wrap and a vegetarian sticks? All right. I thought you do vegan nuggets. I thought, um, someone told me that McDonald's do vegan nuggets. Vegan nuggets? Yeah. Um, okay, I gotta check it. Okay, that was really weird. Now we're stuck in like the drive through queue. Apparently McDonald's don't do vegan nuggets. I did read, there was like a Buzzfeed or like some sort of newspaper article where on the 2nd of January, like all these restaurants were launching all this vegan stuff, KFC, Costa, McDonald's and Pizza Hut were on there, but apparently McDonald's don't do it. Maybe it's just this branch that we're at, I don't know. I'm gonna have to like- This branch, she said they don't do it. I must admit, like I haven't seen it on their big billboards either, which is they're weird. Not, they're definitely not promoting it here if they do do it, and this staff member didn't have a clue. Well, not had a clue, she's definitely adamant they only do the vegetarian She's like, we do chicken nuggets, they might, they're probably not vegan. I was like, <laughs> yeah. Just like, yeah, they're definitely not vegetarian either. I'm gonna leave this video here for today because we were actually gonna go to Pizza Hut for dinner as like our final thing. My cousin knows I'm filming this video today so she was gonna come with us for dinner to Pizza Hut and she called me earlier today and she's just found out online that apparently if you go to Pizza Hut on a Sunday after 3 p.m. and order off their vegan menu, it's 41% off. So we were like, let's just do this tomorrow. Oh, watch this car, Jess. Yeah. So we were like, let's just do this tomorrow. So that is basically our plan. So yeah, so far I would say my favorites have been the Costa uh, toasty, I would definitely get again. I would probably get the Greg sausage roll. I mean, I never really go to Greg's and I don't really eat things like that. And it was the pastry that I wasn't fond of, which is funny because you get that in like a regular sausage roll anyway. Um, but I would probably get that again if I was like starving and like there's any a Greg's nearby. Definitely would not get the steak bake that was the worst thing ever and the KFC burger I thought was okay but I wouldn't get it again so we have these track fruit bites for a pizza hut I'm gonna try what is, what's this even called vegan um, jack and cheese bites or whatever the starters we're a bit worried because it has barbecue jackfruit. I'm with my cousin. Can't taste barbecue, but it's too sweet for me. Right, oh, okay. Mm. I think it's a sweet chilli sauce. It's sweet got chili. sweet chilli sauce. Mm. I cannot stand sweet chilli sauce. I really like sweet chilli sauce. Do not. <laughs> that is it. No, I shouldn't. I thought it was meant to be barbecue. Mm. Sweet chilli sauce is not meant to be I'm going to dig into my little... I like it. I'm glad she does though, because mm. they've got to make it for someone to like it. <laughs> so we ordered the pepperoni pizza, but we added sweet corn mushrooms and green chilies to it. I'm going to do a taste test. Benita is not impressed, she really doesn't like it. But I like cheese melted, mm. didn't work from it at home, doesn't work on this. But also the pepperoni. pepperoni got it's like I don't eat meat right so we've got it's like a smoky thing I don't know if that's how it's meant to be so I don't like the smokiness because I can't stand barbecue um neither so this so is gonna be interesting <laughs> we have a bit of a problem here you understand but I had unlimited <laughs> salad which you is understand. Great. and I'm probably gonna have the no baked cheesecake extra great <laughs> oh yeah what did you think of it not keen on it so far I mean I know it's a thick base they accidentally made it as a deep pan and the guy's actually really sweet because he was like we'll make it like we make it for you with a thin base but just have this while you're waiting because we don't want to throw it away which is quite nice we have like double the amount of pizza but i don't think anyone I mean, is keen so far the pepperoni i'm used to if i make because i've had real pepperoni yeah it's not like that one is it do you think i'll like it 
I don't know, it's a bit weird. It does stick to your teeth. Cheese. Cheese. Yeah, okay. Last, as always, because I'm a slow eater, I'm going to try it on camera. <laughs> Where's that cheese? Dun, dun, dun. I can't do that. You told them to not make the pizza. No, I think they already put meat on it, isn't it? Let's, let's just see what's too bad with you, too smoky. That cheese is awful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is the I can't believe it's not cheesecake cheesecake that Benita is trying. And I can't wait to see her <laughs> reaction. <laughs> mm. Right, I'm taste testing this vegan cheesecake. <laughs> Mm. It's a nice cheese cake. Mm. Not too sweet. Caramel is not normally my go to thing. Not too sweet. Mm. Oh, That's really nice. I, cool. I normally hate cheesecake. I'm home from Pizza Hut and it's safe to say that that was a massive fail. I had really high hopes for that because I actually really like the corn pepperoni but I'm aware that that might just be vegetarian not vegan. I definitely don't think that's the pepperoni that they use. Their pepperoni was not very nice and that cheese just, I don't know, I don't know if it's the same cheese as Costa used in their um, toasty but that was just really like it kind of stuck to your teeth it just it wasn't nice at all in fact we all ended up scraping the cheese and the pepperoni off our pizza and just eating it as it was so <laughs> that was a fail the vegan cheesecake I had a bite of my cousins and oh my god that was really nice and I'm not a fan of cheesecake but I can kind of see why I don't go to Pizza Hut I feel like all these fast food chains have just jumped on this vegan bandwagon and they haven't really put much thought into like the quality of their food which is a shame the Costa Toasty was definitely my favourite the vegan sausage roll at Greg's was good and even the, like in hindsight the KFC burger is like not bad I definitely wouldn't get it again i thought it was quite pricey for what it was and it's a shame they can't like fix their chips but it's nice to have like an offering i guess for vegans and also bearing in mind i'm not actually vegans and if you are you might be less fussy than i am because it is quite hard I think in certain situations to find vegan food. I personally don't struggle that much because I do eat a little bit of dairy, but also it depends on your budget. So if you go to like a nicer restaurant or like if you just go to, well even restaurants, as opposed to fast food places, you're more likely to find stuff or they're more likely to be able to create you things that like suit your dietary requirements. I don't know. So yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. That would really help me out because it basically just tells YouTube that you guys like the video. So they'll boost up my video and make it available for more people to see. So that really helps me out. And let me know if you want me to do like a part two. I know Subway do a vegan meatball sub, but I really can't stand Subway with a passion. And I've seen pictures of it. It looks vile. I just could not bring myself to eat that. I'm sorry. And I've heard the Cafe Nero vegan meatball sub isn't very nice either. But if there are any other places that you want to see me, trying vegan options then please do let me know in the comments below but thank you for watching and i'll see you very soon with a new video bye